Hi, I'm Kevin Gifhorn, creator of the eNotebook app, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to bring files into eNotebook for taking notes on. Now, when you use the open end feature or you use Dropbox, all files will be placed here and uncategorized. For instance, let's say we're in science class and the current topic is mitosis. And right now I'm going to have to take a quiz on mitosis, that's a Word document file, and I'm also going to have to have a PowerPoint file. I'm going to open up the PowerPoint file, and here it is, and here are the individual slides, and I want to start taking notes on this. What I can do is by tapping it here, I can come over and then open in eNotebook. And by pressing that, it takes the file and puts it into uncategorized. Now, I'm going to go back and also grab the other file that was the document file that we're going to take a quiz on. Here's our mitosis quiz. And again, we want to open that as well within the eNotebook app. Like I said, both these files are initially placed and uncategorized in the documents folder. And as you can see, we have the PowerPoint file here and the document here. Now we want to bring them into science. And the way I can do that is by pressing and holding down onto it it brings up a, an additional menu where I can say place into science. And I'll do the same thing for mitosis. I'll place that into science. So now the files have been located here in science and when I want to start annotating on it all I have to do is open it up and right here if I want to start taking notes I can tap on the pen icon and I can start taking some notes. Or I can highlight. Additionally, I can go as well to the Word document file right here. I can open it up, and just like before, I can press the pen icon, and I can put my name on the quiz, and I can start taking it here, leaving room for additional notes. So again, all these files have been saved here under the Documents folder, but were initially placed into the uncategorized folder. And that's how you bring files in from email, Safari, and through Dropbox as well.